for our next candidate, Mr. Patrick Kempe. Let's see if I can get this line of sight lined up with this microphone. How y'all doing tonight? I'm gonna I'm gonna try a little bit because I have a habit of hanging out and talking to the audiences all day long. I enjoy when I when I get to come to these things, look at everybody's faces, uh, get an idea of uh, what the conversation is, is going to be like uh, based on the room that I'm in, and uh, I can already uh, sense that. But let me tell you a little bit about myself first. My name is Patrick Campion. I'm a Democratic candidate for St. Lucie County Commission in District 3. Uh, my wife, Christina, and I have been here for about 17 years. I have a degree in political science I've earned right here at IRC, and uh, I currently serve you at the county level as a member of the county's uh, budget committee. I'm also a member of the county's code enforcement board. I also sit on the uh, county's uh, school district uh, budget advisory committee as the uh, teachers union representative. I'm endorsed by the teachers union as well as the uh, working families of the AFL-CIL as well as your Treasure Coast uh, newspapers and some of us talking about septic and clean water early. I'm also endorsed by Gold Sugar and Lord, which is one of the clean water uh, environmental organizations here on the uh, Treasure Coast. So jobs. Um, I mean, I'm here in Fort Pierce for 17 years, so uh, I'm, I'm well aware of the, the issue. And the issue is that we need jobs. And like Mr. Fine alluded to, when people are working, they're not out there messing around. They're not getting into trouble, they're not getting into gangs, crime goes down. But we need good jobs, not the not the uh, eight dollar an hour Walmart reader jobs, not the ten dollar an hour call center service jobs. So we've got two economic engines here that I'm interested in working on when I get onto the county commission. And uh, just over this way, you've got, well, just a walk away, the port of Fort Pierce that we need to get working on, and where we are actually at the county level working on building uh, building out our 20 acres of the port. And then in that direction. Well, a bit of a longer walk is the airport, uh, <laughs> St. Lucie County International or Treasure Coast International Airport. And uh, we want to get uh, working on that. Expansion's already started. You may have seen the article on paper today. And uh, I intend to continue that when we get up there. And we need to work with our school district so that we can train our young people coming out of school for the jobs that are going to be available in those industries. Now, for jobs we wish were here, but for the jobs that will be here. And so vocational training or a free apprenticeship program is the best way to go to get people. Well, I was, I'm sorry, I was moving on to my official direction. So I want to get the kids that are coming out of school. Not everybody is going to college. Not everybody needs to go to college. A lot of these guys are working in trade unions, doing vocations, building the big things that we need to build. Roads, bridges, buildings. We need people who have those skills. These are not $8 an hour jobs. These are good jobs. These are careers where you can buy a home, you can raise a family. And like the old saying goes, a high tide lifts all boats. Yeah. A 14 foot John boat gets lifted just as high as a 70 foot yacht. We need to have that high tide lift everybody's boat here in St. Louis County. Thank you.